So we all know by now that ChatGPT can do some pretty cool things. From writing essays, to generating high quality images, and even debugging code. Recently, a meme has gone viral in the AI community. Apparently, ChatGPT can't properly count how many R's are in the word strawberry. How is that even possible? Like surely the meme is just a meme, right? That'd be like me saying, I have a CS degree and 10 years of software engineering experience, but I think 2 plus 2 is 5? Well, it turns out not only is this a meme, but it's actually perfectly reasonable as to why ChatGPT makes a mistake like this. Modern AI tools like ChatGPT are known as Large Language Models, or LLMs. These LLMs were built to understand and generate human-like text. They do this through a process called tokenization. Unfortunately, this is the very same process that causes ChatGPT to miscount the number of R's in the word strawberry. So how does tokenization work? Bodies of text are broken down into smaller pieces called tokens. These tokens could be as small as a single character, a part of a word, or even whole words, depending on the language model. The tokens are typically then encoded into numbers, for the simple reason that computers can more easily work with numbers than words themselves. The model then processes each token to figure out what you're trying to say. This helps the model understand the structure, meaning, and context of your input. And in the case of ChatGPT, it helps to formulate what it thinks is the best sequence of tokens as a response to a user's prompt, which itself is also a sequence of tokens. So you can see how this process as a whole works great for generating text and allowing ChatGPT to sort of have this back and forth conversation with the user. However, because the words have been tokenized, the model no longer has a fine representation of the word itself. And because of that, it can't do things like count the number of occurrences of a specific letter. So from the perspective of the model, instead of actually counting the number of R's in the word strawberry, it's asking itself, what combination of tokens would formulate the best response for the question, how many R's are in strawberry? One cool workaround to this quote unquote flaw that ChatGPT has is to actually ask ChatGPT to generate code that can count the number of R's in strawberry. And when you execute that code, it gets the answer right 100% of the time. It's pretty interesting how that works, huh? And with how fast AI has been growing over the last few years, it's highly likely that future models will be able to reason at the individual character level and perform similar logical tasks. But in short summary, the inability of AI to properly count the number of R's in the word strawberry is not actually a flaw, but rather a reflection of the underlying architecture and design of large language models. So that concludes today's video. If you guys found value in it, please feel free to leave a comment down below or hit that like button. Um, otherwise, I will catch you all in the next one.